Hi all, Dr. Raman Sakhuja here, consultant psychiatrist and a professor of psychiatry with the University of South Wales. You know, you've connected with my channel and I do make videos on mental health topics and give you and your friends and families tips to manage common mental health conditions. So in today's video, we will be talking about some of the sleep related movement disorders like the restless leg syndrome as well as the periodic limb movement disorders. So before we delve into that, what is important to understand and recap is what happens in sleep. So you all are well familiar that we all go through different stages of sleep from sleep stage one to stage three and then REM sleep and then the cycle keeps repeating itself. Now the stage three sleep, which we call as the slow wave sleep, is a very important uh, stage of sleep because that is called the deep restorative sleep and that is important for consolidating a lot of things and is very important for restoration, recovery, for emotional management, for general mental health conditions and just feeling refreshed from a good night's sleep. So now looking at the restless leg syndromes and the periodic limb movement disorders. So in the PLMS what happens is people would have rhythmically, periodically movements of their feet or legs throughout the night, which friends or family may notice that is happening. They may seem to be asleep, but what is happening is because of that movement disorder, they are not able to stay in the slow wave sleep and they keep coming back into the shallower or earlier stages of the sleep, therefore not feeling refreshed the following day leading to attention difficulties, concentration difficulties, feeling fatigued or perhaps uh, tired and sleepy, not able to pay attention to things which can mimic or look like ADHD but is actually not. It is fundamentally a sleep disorder which is causing all of those symptoms. And in restless leg syndrome, the persons normally suffering with them would have an irresistible urge because of a feeling of restlessness, discomfort in their legs particularly, but it can happen in the upper part of the body as well. There's normally a circadian rhythm attached to it. That means that it's largely, mostly tends to happen in the evening times. So both of these disorders, if they are not picked up, they can look like ADHD and treatments for both of these can be possible uh, with the accurate assessments and with treatments so as to improve the quality of sleep and once that happens some of the symptoms in the subsequent day specifically the neurocognitive symptoms can be improved and overall an improvement in their mental health so if any of you your friends or family do suffer with any of these sleep difficulties then i would strongly suggest to go and see someone who is qualified enough to look at these, investigate them and offer you a treatment plan. And if you do find this video informative, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment and press that bell button icon and all notifications so that you do keep connected with us and get all the notifications for the upcoming videos on our channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.